Carmont's robotics team has been working tirelessly on their robot almost every day for the past six weeks and they are putting the finishing touches on it as they get ready for competition. The process is a really intense one. We start off um, the first week of January, this year it was January 7th, and then for six weeks we build all day every day. Um, our end of build season is coming up now, February 22nd, and um, the four day weekend is going to be intense. So this year the game involves um, three things. You can either shoot these wiffle balls at a goal, you can place one of our gears onto pegs and then have that lifted up by um, people that are waiting for it, and you can also climb a rope. Um, and that's all part of the kind of themed game that the organization first has come up with. In addition to a teacher, the team has mentors to guide them in construction and management. I advise the team and try to guide them to uh, find the right um, solutions to the engineering problems and the management problems and so forth associated with building a robot and raising money and all, all of the things associated with the robotics team. I didn't expect it to be this organized. Uh, I, it's a lot more structured th than I thought. Um, but I do enjoy working with my hands a lot, that's why I'm machining, and I get to do a lot more of that than I thought I would, which is good. Uh, my favorite part is actually getting to use the, the tools, uh, because it's, I, I like being able to make something and then have, have something to show for it. We're doing a lot better this year than we did last year. Uh, it, things feel a lot more organized, um, feels like uh, there's a lot more rigor to the design process um, and the fabrication process. The whole thing just feels a lot more organized. It felt a lot more seat of the pants last year. However, the team did run into some problems along the way. Every day you get here, there's a new problem to be fixed. Um, every time you try to run some code that you try to write, you, um, you see there's a new bug and it's like, <laughs> How did this come up? I don't know, but you have to fix it. You have to go on. I would love for us to do well, but that, from my perspective, that's not the, the end goal of the competition. It's really about um, giving the students an opportunity both to um, apply the math and science that they're learning in school and see how it actually uh, can be used in the real world um, and also develop uh, leadership skills and, and things like that. The team will be going to the Sacramento Regionals in March, where their robot will be competing against around 40 other teams. Reporting for Scott Center News, I'm Sophie Penn.